Americans are convinced that Harry Styles has a secret TikTok? We were talking about this secret TikTok account that everyone thinks that Harry Styles has got. Well, they think they found it. People zoomed in and noticed that it looks like he's on TikTok. This could be Harry's secret TikTok. Um, it's not. It's... It's me. Yeah, I've got some explaining to do. In this video, you'll see exactly how over the last week, I tricked not just the internet, but the world into thinking I was Harry Styles. Okay, let me explain. It all started in my last video when I tricked Spotify and sending me Harry Styles 1 billion streams plaque. This took me months to get and a lot of money. So I wanted to put it to good use to see by having this plaque what extent I have to go to to trick the internet that I'm Harry Styles and that he's become a TikToker. So first things first, I'm making a new TikTok account. Basically, I'm trying to make it look like Harry Styles has downloaded TikTok. He doesn't really know what he's doing. And he's just made a random account and started making TikToks. So I signed up for a new account as Harry Styles and decided to go for the username SecretSue94, which I know seems very random, but I've got reasoning behind it, okay? It's known amongst the Harry Styles fandom that Harry Styles' nickname is Sue. Here's some evidence. His friend and stylist, Harry Lamb, but literally tagging him in posts, calling him Sue. But yeah, basically the account is called Secret Sue 94 So the account was made and day one began. So first things first, I started by watching Harry's old vines he made in 2013. Since they're the closest thing he's ever made to a TikTok. I went through and watched all 49 of his vines and after a while of watching, I decided the first TikTok I was going to do was a remake of this fruit bowl vine that Harry posted in 2013. So we're going very basic with this. We're not putting any sound on it. We're going for the vine style. So one by one, I removed each piece of fruit from the bowl. The only thing with this, this doesn't scream Harry Styles. Like, yeah, he did do it in 2013, but literally anyone could do this. We need to put a clue in there. So to make this look more like Harry, I decided to try and draw his cross tattoo onto my hand. I think that's kind of believable. That looks pretty good. I then filmed putting the fruit back in the bowl, but purposely left my hand in one of the shots so you could see the cross tattoo. I then captioned it first TikTok. Notice how I spelled TikTok. I feel like Harry Styles would spell TikTok like that. And I then added reminds me of Vine to try and make people make that connection. And with that, it is time to post our first TikTok of the week. Post. Now all we can do is wait for our TikTok fame to come. Now, for this video to make sense, I need to give you guys a timeline. So, on the 10th of February, Secret Sue was created. And we posted our first TikTok of the fruit bowl. Now, this TikTok got about 500 views. But that's fine. That's what I expected. Because I could just go in and show the plaque. However, Harry Styles fans are a lot smarter than that. So, if I'm really going to get them to believe this, I need to go in deep. Now, the next day, the 11th of February, I didn't post anything. So, I spent the day giving the account a little bit more depth. So, let me introduce to you... The Harry Styles multiverse. After a little bit of research, I've discovered these are Harry Styles' five publicly closest friends. So I also made them fake secret TikTok. We have Harry Styles manager Jeff Azel, whose account I called Fajitas, like Fajitas, but it's Jeff backwards. We have his bandmate Mitch Rowland, whose account I called Road to Land. Next, his sister Gemma Styles, whose account is literally just her name backwards. Another one of Harry's bandmates, Sarah Jones, whose account we kept simple, S Jones 857. I also didn't make her account private, it was public. So if anyone looked, they could see all the accounts she was following. Following, which if they investigate, it will back up the fact that it is Sarah Jones because she's a drummer, she follows drummers, she's also a mother, she follows mother accounts. And then finally we have Tomo Campbell, who's a friend of Harry Styles. So I called his account Tom and Oh yeah, and I also added this guy. Very good, very nice. I'm not gonna lie, it was an accident. I was scrolling through TikTok, I thought I was on mine. But then I thought Harry Styles would enjoy this content. So very good, very nice official was added to the multiverse. So now it looks like Harry Styles follows all his friends and his friends all follow him back. The next day then came around and again, I didn't make any TikToks. Harry Styles was actually spotted in public filming a music video in a giant bed. So if I post any TikToks on the Secret Sue account, the timelines between the real Harry and the Secret Sue account would not align, which was one thing that was vital if we were gonna trick people that Harry Styles was Secret Sue. So I wait till the next day to make the next TikTok, but I needed something that screamed Harry Styles more than a fruit bowl. So I've made a purchase. Now this right here is pink carpet. It's like a red carpet, but obviously it's pink. Came out on Twitter that Harry Styles actually has pink stairs in his house. So that's where this comes in. I'm gonna try and transform my stairs into Harry Styles stairs. So I opened the carpet up, measured it, and then I got cut in. I then fitted each set one by one, and it actually worked. That actually looks sick. Look at that, my brand new pink carpet. And I then filmed the TikTok walking up the stairs in the quick cut style again. I know it's not great, but it gives our profile that little bit more depth, which for the rest of my plan to work, was gonna be vital. And with that, our second TikTok is now live. And now all we can do is wait to see if anyone even watches this. All right, so guys, it's now the next day. I've just woke up, I've checked TikTok, and the stairs TikTok we uploaded yesterday has 50 views. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. The profile is now developed. We've got two TikToks, we're following our friends, our friends are following us back. So I think it's time for the next step. Now, from the first two TikToks alone, no one's ever gonna link this to Harry Styles. Like, both TikToks could be linked to Harry Styles, but there was no reason for people to suspect that. So I had to give them a reason. But this is gonna take some work. I need 
needed to become Harry Styles. So I spent the next few days researching everything there was to know about him. I discovered he customizes his vans with a pink pair of laces. So I bought myself a pair of vans and customized them with a pink pair of laces. I then studied more pictures of Harry and found a coat just like his. So I purchased it. And then I also realized Harry Styles wears a lot of pink beanies. So I went to the shop and bought myself a pink beanie. And whilst I was out, I also went and bought myself some nail varnish because I studied the photos of Harry Styles filming his music video and saw his nails were painted red and green. So I bought the closest colors I could and tried to paint my nails. Look, for my first time painting my nails, that's actually not bad. But with that, the full outfit was complete and it was time to put it all together. So I started the transition into Harry Styles. I put everything on that I'd prepared and then to hide the fact that I don't actually like Harry Styles, I put on a face mask. And last but not least, we need some sunglasses. And just like that, the transformation was complete. I was Harry Styles. I've also got this Gucci bag. But what's going to go in my Gucci bag? The Spotify plaque. So I put the Spotify plaque in the Gucci bag and I was officially Harry Styles. But all this was not just for a TikTok. This was something much bigger and a key part of the plan. I needed to let the world know that Harry Styles has his Spotify plaque and that he also has TikTok on his phone. So I headed out of my house onto a train and met my friend Kaya who was going to help us with this. I then sat on the train with my Gucci bag and my Spotify box and eventually arrived at St. John's Wood, the home of Abbey Road Studio. Which, if you don't know, it's the most famous studios in the world and Harry Styles has been here before. So it was the perfect place to create some hype. So to start, we went down a side road and Kaya took a selfie with me, pretending she was a fan and she's just met Harry Styles on the street. I then put my zoom lens on my camera and we scoped out the area and I noticed that the gate was open. So Kai stood on the other side of the road with the camera and I backed up through the gate and she took paparazzi pictures of me as I pretended to walk out. But here's the key feature in it. Whilst I was doing so, I actually had my phone open on TikTok on the Secret Sue account. So the people can now see Harry Styles has his Spotify box and also has TikTok on his phone. So I then had a look through the pictures, making sure we got all the shots and we did. They look great. I then headed home and spent all night editing the photos and by the next morning, I was finally done. So the way I'm planning to do this, the first photo I want to release is the photo with the fan. So basically this is the original photo. This is clearly me. It's just not Harry Styles, is it? But after many hours spent photoshopping this picture, I've managed to turn it into Harry Styles. Look at that. Look at the difference. You can even see under the glasses are his eyes. Literally, look, take the glasses off. Look who's underneath. It's Harry Styles. I then got the picture and created a fake Facebook post. So it looks like I've been on Facebook, seen someone's met Harry, screenshotted it, and now I'm sharing it. Now I know this is very long, but this is all to make it more believable. So I then looked into my Harry Styles fan account that I've been making for the last two weeks. I basically just followed loads of Harry Styles fan accounts and just retweeted loads of stuff on my timeline of Harry Styles. The account has 64 followers and over 1,200 tweets. So it looked like a legit Harry Styles fan account. So now I'm going to tweet out this picture on this account. And I captioned it. OMG, a girl from my school met Harry yesterday. WTF, I'm so jealous. Why wasn't it me? I then added the Facebook post and covered up the name. And I posted it. Your tweet was sent. It is live. Now straight away, try and get this seen by as many people as possible. I had to get the attention of the big account. So I tagged all the biggest Harry Styles fan accounts. And very quickly, it got their attention. Right, guys, you're not going to believe this. I've just checked Twitter. Look at this. Harry in London with a van via me. Look how many likes. He's got 500 likes. Oh my gosh. Someone said you can see his eyes. Yes, you can. That's because I photoshopped them. I'm glad they noticed. I spent a lot of time on that. Literally, look at my Twitter notifications. They're going absolutely insane. I can't even keep up with all this. I can't believe this. This is actually worse. Oh my gosh. Bruh. 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 7,000 likes. 2,000 reach. What the hell? 7,000 likes in 12 minutes. Listen, I expect this to get picked up by like a Twitter account that had like a few thousand followers, maybe get a couple hundred likes, but it's gone crazy. People were literally making edits of my photo. Others were saying it was giving them a heart attack. Some people were just happy to know that Harry was still alive. And then there were some people that were just roasting Harry Styles wearing the same clothes again. Look, Harry, for this one, I'll take the blame, okay? But literally accounts from all over the world were sharing this selfie. Our selfie had gone international. And after an hour of the biggest account tweeting out, it had over 14,000 likes. So I decided to then release the paparazzi pictures. So I did some research and saw these Harry Styles fan accounts actually have contact emails. So I reached out to a few of them through the Meg Oregano's email. If you don't remember that, it's from the last video. But I basically sent them an email with a fake story and sent them paparazzi photos saying I took them. So these are the paparazzi pictures I'm sending them. I haven't really edited them much. All I did was I made the beanie a bit more pink to match his. I also used my Meg Oregano's Instagram account to go through and DM accounts on that. Pretty much just sending them the same thing. Telling them a story about how I was at Abbey Road and took photos of Harry. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get any responses for a long time, literally multiple hours. But eventually, I got a reply. It's from an account called Styles Argentina. So I messaged him saying, I was at Abbey Road Studios yesterday and took these pics and sent all the pics to Harry. And they've just said thanks. But the question is, have they used them? Right, let's click on the account. Have they posted it? <laughs> they have! 
Let's go. Finally, the reason we did this, the paparazzi pictures are now out. As you can see, they're all posted. Me walking outside of Abbey Road. And after this one account posted it, it was like a domino effect. Guys, guys, I've literally just gone on Twitter. And look what I've seen. One minute ago, one of the Harry Styles update accounts just tweeted the picture. Literally everywhere I looked on my timeline, there was different accounts tweeting out my photos. Fully convinced it was Harry Styles. And sharing it to their hundreds of thousands of followers. Our photos were taken over Twitter. And straight away, people were trying to work out what was on Harry's phone. But all the Harry Styles fans needed was a few minutes to investigate to realize what it was. Guys, it is happening. They are realizing it's TikTok. I've just seen this on my timeline. Someone tweeted, that is TikTok. And it's a screenshot of my hand holding the phone with TikTok. And then they've just made a fake account on TikTok just to see what it looks like if you have two TikToks, no profile picture. And it's the same because it is TikTok. Wait a minute. Oh my God, OMG. Oh my God. You're so right, OMG. Literally, everyone is so shocked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, finally, it's all been worth it. We have finally done what we needed to do. The people know Harry Styles has TikTok. They don't know what his TikTok is, but don't worry, they will find out in the next few days. Secret Sue is not staying a secret for long. She is coming out. People were loving it. They were coming out with conspiracies. Others thought it meant his album was coming out. Some people were speculating it could be a special vinyl box in partnership with Spotify. And some people even guessed it right, saying they think it could be the billion streams plan. But the one thing they did now know was that Harry Styles has TikTok on his phone. And people believed it. Over 22 thousand likes on this tweet. Also, the selfie post from earlier got 35,000 likes and the paparazzi pictures got 22,000. But the big numbers were on Instagram where the paparazzi picture got over 100,000 likes and the selfie post got 75,000. It kind of hurts me that 75,000 people have liked a photo of me. However, not because it's me, because they think I'm someone else. But my personal <laughs> favourite tweet from them all was this one. No one will ever be him. And it's literally pictures of me. Guys, it's official. I'm the biggest catfish of all time, okay? But yeah, with that, the Harry Styles timeline was updated. He'd been spotted in public for the first time since the 12th of February and his fans were desperate to know what his secret TikTok was. Alright, so it is now the next day. As you can see, I've got my catfish hoodie on. It just felt right. I've gone on Twitter this morning, gone through. Harry Styles fans are still going crazy. They're all trying to find out what Harry Styles' secret TikTok is. And then to add on to that as well, we've even taken over TikTok. This is Roman Kem, the host of Capital Breakfast. Listen to this TikTok. So wait. You're saying Harry Styles has a TikTok? Yes, I am saying Harry Styles has a TikTok. But it's not Harry Styles, it's me. Capital FM also then wrote an article about this. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement going around now. All caused by me. Harry Styles, you're welcome. So the plan for today is to make another TikTok. However, I'm not going to show the plaque just yet. I want to do another subtle one. I've showed the hand tattoo. I've showed the carpet. But I've got an idea. I'm going to kind of be inspired by that vine that Harry posted back in like 2013 of the hawk swooping down at him. So the plan is to go running as Harry Styles. So once again, I transformed into Harry. I noticed from paparazzi pictures that he wears a lot of knives. So I got a Nike t-shirt and some Nike shorts. But the only problem with these is it's going to show my legs. Which don't look like Harry Styles' legs because he has tattoos. But don't worry, we've got a solution to that. I've got these. They're like leggings. I then put on a raincoat and a hat. And also put on these fake off-white shoes that I bought a few years ago. It's also the kind of shoe that will make you think it is Harry Styles because they are expensive and he's rich. I then left the house and went for a run. Filming the different stuff I was doing for the TikTok. And here's how it came out. I got some different shots of my legs. Of blown over bins. And just more of me running. I tried to replicate some of the shots from his 2013 Vine. But yeah, the TikTok was done. So I posted it. And with that Secret Sue's third TikTok is now posted. Now once again the Harry Styles timeline was updated and I then went and spent the evening at a Wolf Alice concert. And it was great but it wasn't supposed to be part of the video. However the reason I'm telling you this is because apparently Harry Styles was there. Literally what? What are the odds? Harry Styles was watching Wolf Alice at stage side tonight. This is freaking insane. So what I've done this morning is I went onto Wolf Alice's Instagram and I went onto their following and I basically went through every single person they follow stories because I was trying to find one of their friends family, anyone that they invited back stage, film some content at side stage, I could then still and post as Harry Styles. Now, I didn't find any side stage. However, I did find this video. Oh, my God. <laughs> So yeah, it's basically just a video of the band backstage and it came from the keyboard player, Ryan Mouth, who luckily for us has about 2,000 followers. So not too many people would have seen this video on his story. However, the only issue is there is text on the screen, which shows it's clearly taken from Instagram. So I zoomed the video in so you couldn't see the text and it worked. It looked great. So I captioned it lucky 13 because they're saying in the video, the ladybird has 13 dots and it was officially posted. And once again, the timeline of Harry Styles had evolved, confirming the tweet rumors that he was at the show. Now at this point, the profile was looking developed. I was happy with it. However, there was only one thing missing. The views. It was time for my secret weapon, the Spotify plaque. However, before I did that, I wanted to do one more thing. I want to change the username. I want to come up with a name that's more of like an inside joke between friends. So Secret Sue had to go. And I then tried to come up with a new name, something fun, something unique, something cool, but still have it be connected to Harry's nickname, Sue. And after a lot of thinking and a lot of terrible names, I made my decision. I think Sue Manella could be good. Like Sal Manella, but Sue Manella. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So I headed on to TikTok and changed the name. And with that, Sue Manella was 
was bought. So it is now time to make the final TikTok, the biggest of them all. Now for this one, I wanted to go all out. I want to make this look like I'm on a professional shoot, but my house doesn't look like that. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the studio. So I looked through the internet for a studio close by. I then found one and booked it. All right, I think we've booked a studio to make a TikTok. So I then prepared for the studio by making a fake script cover that had Harry Styles logo and said HS3 announcement video. I then stapled it to a stack of paper and we were good to go. I packed everything I needed and drove to the studio. I then arrived, they set it all up for me and it looked good. This looked professional. This was how things were looking for the TikTok. I then saw there was a speaker there, so I asked to use it. Could I use that speaker down there? Yeah, yeah. And I then searched up some instrumental psychedelic rock music because that's the rumored genre of Harry Styles' next album. So I then played them songs whilst I was filming the plaque. And with that, we were done. I'd filmed two drafts. I packed up everything and made my way out. All right, so I'm now back in my car. The TikToks, I do think, look quite good. It shows a lot of different shots. You can see it's on a set. And most importantly, you can see it's a 1 billion streams plaque with Harry Styles' name on it. So I then posted the TikTok in the car. And it is posted. Now all we can do is wait. I'm going to drive home. It's going to take me about 40 minutes. And hopefully when I get back, I'm going to check my phone and see See Manella's TikTok has blown up. So I headed home knowing my TikTok was live. Excited to see when I got home all the people that have been watching my new TikTok and would finally make the link to Harry Styles. All right, so here we go. Let's check TikTok. I've got notifications off, so I haven't seen anything. All right, here we go. Let's check TikTok. So let's click my profile. How many views have you got? Zero. Zero views. I thought this was gonna be viral when I came home. It's literally not had a single view. It's been a whole hour. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to wait a bit longer. Fingers crossed the views come through. All right, guys, it has now been multiple hours. It's 7 p.m. And the TikTok, well, it's got 14 views. I paid 60 pounds to go to a studio to make a TikTok to get 14 views. I'm not gonna lie, all week I've just been thinking as soon as I upload this, it's gonna be picked up by the algorithm. People are gonna see it's a plaque. They're gonna wanna watch it. They're gonna share it. But no, apparently 14 people have seen it and didn't even like it. At this point, I was desperate. I needed someone to see this TikTok. So out of desperation, I posted the second draft that I filmed at the studio. The style of the TikTok is exactly the same, just with a few different shots. Yeah, I'm posting it. We're posting now two videos off the plaque. Fingers crossed we get some views on this, but it wasn't that simple. The next day then came around and our TikTok's got a few views overnight, but it just wasn't enough. So I decided I was going to have to manually share this. So I then made a fake Instagram and TikTok account called George M, which I was going to use to send this screen recording to Harry Styles fan pages of the Sumanella TikTok coming up on my For You page. So yeah, it doesn't look too suspicious. It genuinely looks like I'm just scrolling through my For You page. So that's what I did. As Georgia M, I sent the screen recording to loads of Harry Styles fan pages on Instagram. Right, guys, update. I've just been eating my lunch. I've checked Instagram DMs and look at this. So I sent them a message saying, hey, this just came up on my For You page. I think it's Harry. I don't know. I then sent them the video. They've replied, ha, OMG, no way. I replied, do you actually think it's him? If you look at the other TikToks, there's one of a pink carpet too. They've replied again to me saying, ha, ha, I don't know. Maybe it's someone pretending to be him. I don't think it's him. <laughs> All right, you know what? These fan pages are letting me down. I'm just gonna have to post this myself. It may look fishy because I also posted the selfie, but I don't know what else I can do right now. So I headed onto the Harry Styles Hue account and tweeted out, wait, just been DM this on Insta that this came up on someone's For You page. Is this real? Then we're gonna put the video in and with that tweet. This account does have 174 followers now. I gained like over 100 followers from the selfie post. So fingers crossed some of them see this. We've already got a like. Okay, this is good. Oh my gosh, right, come on. People start saying this is real. Please start saying this is real. Okay update. It's been a few minutes. Sue Manella has just gained five followers from the tweet. We've currently got two likes and one person replied saying, oh, oh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Why are you not excited? Why is no one excited? I'm trying to create hype here, but no one cares. At this point, all hope was lost. I didn't think anyone was going to believe me. All this was going to be wasted, but then we hit a stroke of luck. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been tweeted out by HS Daily, which is literally a fan account with 400,000 followers. Literally, look, there it is. They've tweeted it out. It has worked finally. Yes, come on. Let's go. Someone said that's what was in the Spotify box, huh? So that was what's in the bag. So that's what he was carrying. Yes, that's exactly what he was carrying. Or that was exactly what I was carrying. Wait, how's the TikTok doing? I need to check that. Surely loads of people are going to be checking out this account now. All right, let's change from my account to... <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's got nine plus notifications. <gasps> Eight, uh, what the hell? 800 followers, 2,000 views, 2,000 views, 2,000 views, 2,000 views, 2,000 views everywhere. 99 plus notifications. Oh my gosh, this has actually worked. This has actually worked. People believe this is Harry Styles' secret TikTok. Oh, another Harry Styles fan account just tweeted out Harry Styles updates, which also has 400,000 followers. And as you can see, there's my TikTok. Oh my gosh, I've just seen 
one of the tweets literally has 5,000 likes. Oh my gosh. It was working. Everything that I planned out, people were walking straight into. From noticing that I recreated his vibe, to the way I captioned them, the pink stairs, the Wolf Alice concert, the announcement paper, even the multiverse, people were trying to decipher who each one was. They were going to the extent of editing the photos to see if the TikToks matched up, which they did. People well and truly believed I was Harry Styles. We even got the term HS3 announcement video trending with over 5,000 tweets, but not everyone was convinced, mainly because of the cross tattoo. Yeah, that really let me down. But it didn't matter because the one thing they couldn't work out was, is if I wasn't Harry, how did I have the plaque? Let's see how the TikTok account's doing. I haven't checked it for about 20 minutes. How many followers have we got now? We've got 8,000 followers. I literally had five about an hour ago. I can't believe this. Every second, I'm just getting followers, comments, likes. Someone replied, we're being played, I swear. And then someone said, yeah, but Spotify doesn't just give the bowl to anyone. Well, <laughs> if only you knew. If only you knew. Finally, people are buying into this. This is amazing, honestly. This is actually amazing. I then went downstairs to have dinner for about an hour. I came back and you won't believe what happened. Guys, this is insane. I just went downstairs for dinner. I left my phone up here. I've just come upstairs. I've checked TikTok. And the account is on 98,000 followers. 10 hours ago, it had five followers. How have I actually done this? Pretty much all the TikToks have the same amount of views. They're all about a quarter of a million. I did not expect it to go to this level. Don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. There was nothing more to say. Sue Manella had blown up. All my work had finally paid off. So I went to bed happy, knowing my plan had worked. And that Harry Styles fans believed I was him. I then woke up the next morning, excited to check TikTok to see if Sue Manella had grown any more. And let's just say what I saw left me in a pure state of shock. We've got 260,000 followers. Overnight, I gained 160,000 followers. How have I tricked this many people? Yep, Sue Manella went viral overnight. With this one TikTok getting over 6 million views, which was literally just pictures of my photos and TikToks. Some people believed it, some people didn't. We created controversy in the Harry Styles fandom. Do you guys believe the Sue Manella thing? Is Sue Manella Harry? <laughs> Absolutely. I 100% believe it's Harry. Sue Manella is not Harry. I personally believe it's Harry Styles. Obviously it's not Harry. It's probably his team. I think it's his team. It is very hard to say that Harry and his team are not involved in this somehow. That tattoo is so fake. Okay, we know that's Sharpie. Those are Harry's feet. Those are Harry's stairs. Those are not his feet. I know Harry's lanky ass feet. This man sends me crazy. Who else would have Harry's billion plaque? How do they get their hands on that plaque? Cause how, how would that not be his? Like. That's his. I just think if they're trying to impersonate Harry, they're doing a very good job of it. Literally the whole trail that I've laid out over the last week, people are literally walking straight into it. And literally the plan has worked perfectly. From here, the news articles started coming in. From Capital FM to High Snobiety, ID Magazine. There's too many to name. Suminella has not just broken the internet, but the world. All right, guys. So apparently they've been talking about the Suminella account on the radio. Literally Capital FM. Let's see what they say. This is Capital. Yeah, you know, a week ago or so, we were talking about this secret. TikTok account that everyone thinks that Harry Styles has got. Well, they think they found it. There's this one girl on TikTok. She's got in two videos, both over two minutes long, breaking down how this one account, which is, are you ready for it? So you can go and look. Sue Monella is actually run by Harry Styles. This is one of the biggest radio stations in the UK. And they've just given Sue Manella a shout out. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And all this attention just kept adding to the followers. We hit 300k, but it didn't stop there. We hit 400k, but no, it didn't stop there. 500,000 followers. I've tricked half a million people. Do you understand how many people that is? And now fast forward to current day. It's been over a month since I posted the last Sue Manella TikTok. And Sue Manella has 674,000 followers. After this, guys, no one can dispute. I'm the biggest catfish of all time. I don't think there's any way to top this. I haven't posted any more TikToks since I posted the plaque TikTok. I feel like we've achieved what we wanted to do. There was no need to post any more. So Sue Manella has well and truly gone into retirement. That is unless I can somehow meet Harry Styles and convince him to do a TikTok. I know it's a bit unrealistic, so it's probably going to be in retirement forever. But Harry Styles, if you're watching it, let's make a TikTok together. I have also still got your plaque. So if you want that, release medicine. And to all the people that got tricked by this, I'm very sorry. But this is just what I do. I'm a catfish. See, I apologize to anyone that got their hopes up. However, on the bright side, Harry Styles is releasing the album may 20th so if you haven't already pre-save it down below and go and stream as it was maybe if you guys stream it enough he'll get his own billion streams back for it but yeah guys if you are new make sure you subscribe to join the george based nation this year we're taking over youtube no one is safe but yeah guys if you have enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe this has been sue manella over and out boom